Well, fortunately, a clear night across green country, and it's a perfect night for some football. And, Michael, how are things shaping up out there this evening? Oh, Weather-wise, a great one for us, Sharon. Now, if you're an allergy sufferer, we do have a couple of those areas uh, that you might be sniffling and sneezing from. Believe it or not, as dry as we've been, the mole count is actually fairly high right now. And also looking at that weed pollen, it is ragweed season, as you know, uh, that is up as well. Looking outside, hey, we got the Tulsa State Fair ongoing as well. And this is the view here. Love all the activity out on the midway. And it's going to be a great night out there. Or whether or not to head in, into any of the high school football action as well. Looking at what we can expect into your Saturday morning. Temperature's going to drop down mostly into the low 60s. We might get a handful of spots into the upper 50s. It'll be highly dependent on the on the clouds that we've got overhead, whether or not that'll hold our temperatures up just a little bit. And then as we head through the remainder of the uh, day on Saturday, another beautiful one. I do think we'll see more clouds tomorrow compared to what we've got out there uh, for right now. And that might keep the temperature down just a little bit from what we've seen today but otherwise it should be another great day and highs tomorrow should be well up into the low to mid 80s once again notice warmer as you go west where we'll see more sunshine those clouds are probably a little more uh, on the thicker side as you go east keeping that temperature down just a bit notice into the rest of the weekend sunday looking good a bit warmer with a bit more sunshine 86 degrees for the high so again tulsa state fair plans thumbs up we are in really good shape now we need rainfall but look at this forecast here we don't have anything the next seven days. It looks bone dry. No rain around and that's not necessarily good news. Now it's great news if you got outdoor plans but notice those drought conditions. They're getting up there. We've still got that severe to moderate drought across northern portions of the region and again also across western areas where that drought is in the moderate category. But as you go south and east that has been less of an issue. Also football games this Saturday. Everybody on the road by the way if you're traveling up to Manhattan, Kansas should be a great day for Oklahoma State kickoff temperature right around 73 degrees. We'll make it into the 80s by the end of the game. OU on the road in Auburn and despite all the activity going on in the southeast U.S. with what has been Helene, should be a nice day there. Kickoff temperature around 80 degrees falling into the mid-70s by the end of the game. And TU against North Texas, mid-80s at kickoff tomorrow evening. Temperatures falling into the mid-70s by the end of the game. And looking at the forecast here as we go over the next several days, uh, we'll notice those temperatures uh, looking pretty good uh, again through the weekend, and we get a little bit of a drop on Tuesday behind a front after highs in the upper 80s on Monday, and then we start to warm things back up as we head toward the end of next week. I wouldn't be surprised if we make a run to near 90 degrees at the end of next week, so it could start to get a little toasty out there. We have a history of uh, just holding on to some toasty days as we go into October, so summer holding on a little bit longer. Longer. We'll get you into next weekend coming up in that 10-day forecast at 6 o'clock. I still say that's an A-plus forecast. It's not bad. <laughs> we'll take it, Michael, especially for Friday Night Live here.